It's not news, but NAB Asset Servicing closing um, means that there's lots of new business to be won by all their competitors, and there's a lot of activity happening within their competitors and NAB Asset Servicing existing clients for transitions, project managers, and BAs to help actually transition the assets. The continued internalization of the super funds bringing the assets in-house is really putting pressure on the asset managers and we're now seeing asset managers actually closing fund and making redundancies. This is the first time I've seen this in the last 10 years. We are also seeing the smaller asset servicing businesses starting to offshore uh, following their bigger global competitors. Um, this means that moving forward is going to be very difficult to find technically strong operational staff. It's hard to get headcount approval for hiring managers at the moment, and it's taking them a long time to get that. We're getting a long lead in time to actual recruitment happening because it's taking so long to get that headcount approval. When recruiting those roles, we are seeing companies try and recruit them themselves for a number of weeks before they go external, and we're also seeing the larger international companies looking to their overseas offices. This is for two reasons, one, to reduce recruitment costs, and two, they can get the technical expertise with their systems directly without having to go to the Australian market. My advice for candidates is to be patient. It's going to take longer to find the right role. Um, you're also going to have to negotiate potentially on salary and also um, on a hybrid working environment. Some companies are being less flexible and to find the right role may, may mean that you need to be less flexible as well. There are some areas of growth and um, unlisted assets at the moment seems to be a big growth area. Specifically, that's property, infrastructure and private equity funds. Um, and we definitely see there's going to be a high demand for valuations. My advice to clients is simple. Now is a great time to be hiring. There's some really good quality candidates out there and their options are limited.